Good morning, friends. This is your pastor, Kyle Goodman, with another video I filmed before. I've had my first taste of morning coffee. I did this last week for a sunrise video for Holy Week. I thought that was a good idea. It was going to be a one-off thing, but, uh, well, I guess I'm sort of a glutton for punishment. And I turned the other way out of my driveway last week to walk down to the Linwood Lakes uh, picnic shelter and swimming area. I'm heading that way again this week for, uh, for a morning prayer uh, time and a quick Bible study with some neighbors, uh, socially distanced of course, but uh, I'm heading the other way this morning to walk the labyrinth first. Now I bet you're wondering if you familiar with the Southeast Guilford area, how Kyle is going to walk to a labyrinth in Linwood Lakes. It turns out there is right now a labyrinth in Linwood Lake. It's been installed by two of Alamance Church's members, Tommy and Bobby Black. You may be wondering what a labyrinth is. A uh, labyrinth is an uh, ancient tool for prayer and meditation. It's uh, not necessarily original to the Christian faith, though uh, during uh, the Middle Ages and, uh, and certainly after, labyrinths became an important installation in many cathedrals in Europe and, and then all over the world. A labyrinth, uh, to see it, well, it looks like a, a maze, but a labyrinth and a maze are a little different. A labyrinth has only one path in and one path out, though so being lost, I think, is, in some sense, a part of what it means to walk a labyrinth. And I'm making my way there now, so hopefully as the sun peeks through this cloudy day, uh, you'll... Uh, have a bit of an experience with me of what it's like to walk the labyrinth as a tool for prayer and meditation. We would invite you to come to the neighborhood if you're interested and walk that path yourself. Uh, again, making sure you're keeping your social distance during this time of quarantine. But uh, it's there for, for the community to use and uh, would invite you to do so. So as you can see, the labyrinth has just been spray painted here on the ground in the triangle for a Linwood Loop. Uh, and I'm just going to have you walk it with me. Uh, so I'm just going to turn the phone around and uh, we'll take each twist and turn together. Um, and I'm going to be doing so uh, praying, uh, trying to empty my mind and heart of the questions and worries that, uh, that are on it. And, reaching that center where I'll be praying, uh, praying with, uh, with a particular question or uh, thing in mind and asking for God's help and illumination. Uh, and then I'll walk out of the labyrinth and in doing so I'll, uh, I'll be praying for God's help and God's peace and God's strength and courage to do, well, that thing that God has called me to do. Uh, so I invite you to walk the labyrinth with me now. On a labyrinth going round Listen for the sacred sound The ear of your heart Heed the call This journey of life is home We never are alone Life within life all in all So eastward and westward Chanting a blessed word Sacred this path Trod. Northerly, southerly, fatherly, motherly, geometry's roadmap to God. As the strand frees and chains through life's losses and gains, all that we have is right now. 
It's our thread and our theme Made of details and dreams We'll learn what we need to somehow Twisting and turning Listing and learning Walking this circle, this cross Growing and grieving Loving and leaving Finding the lessons in loss Putting off, putting on Casting off and taking on Tracing the truth and the fear Growing through discipline Seeking divine within Facing ourself in the mirror As the strand frees and chains Through life's losses and gains All that we have is right now It's our thread and our theme Made of details and dreams We'll learn what we need to somehow said to me, I want to get life all over me, that's how I yet want to live, loving with all my heart, finding new ways to start, giving what's been given me to give, life's a voyage, a heritage, passage to pilgrimage, there's so much here that goes by on all that matters is who we've been Being kind, honest, and genuine the love we've received and we've shown As the strand frees and chains Through life's losses and gains All that we have is right now It's our thread and our theme Made of details and dreams We'll learn what we need to Somehow. On a labyrinth going round Listen for the sacred sound The ear of your heart, heed the call The ear of your heart, heed the this call This journey of life is home This journey we never of life is home Life is the life of all 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 So, as I prayed uh, the labyrinth this morning, as I, I walked that uh, path, well, I prayed for the world, the weight of which uh, I think I, maybe you, uh, feel like just sits on my shoulders. And I prayed, I prayed that God would walk with me, walk with you, walk with us all. Uh, through the crazy, twisty, turny moment that we're all in. Uh, a moment whose end is hard to see. And on the way out, I prayed for the end to this pandemic moment, that we would know what that looks like at a time where our culture and, and our nation are particularly wrestling with that idea quite powerfully. A couple things I want to say about uh, walking the labyrinth and closing. Uh, the reasons I, I've always loved it so much. Um, one is just uh, 
the way that it embodies prayer. I think prayer is something that we, uh, we do with our body, not just with the words that our mind thinks up to say to God. Uh, it's an act of the whole self. And just the act of walking while praying, I think, is a way to involve all of who we are. Uh, the other thing I really enjoy about uh, walking a labyrinth is uh, the fact that though there's only that one path in and out of the labyrinth, um, at the same time, you never really know where you are in it. For me, it's kind of a metaphor for life, right? We have this path we're walking, but it's never a straight line. This journey we're on, it takes twists and turns every time. And uh, it's comforting to me to know that Though we may not know where we are, uh, that we are in the hand of a God who cares for us so. So Alamance Church, uh, friends out there in the internet, um, as, uh, as you make your way through this, I just want you to remember that, that uh, life has its twists, it has its turns that we cannot predict, and we don't always know exactly where we are in it, but we are walking with a God who sees the whole picture who holds us in God's everlasting arms, who holds us in God's love. We trust in that God, and God will get us through this. So friends, I love you. You're on my heart. You're in my prayers. I'm holding you in the light. Take care. Good morning. Amen.